unboxing and first impressions from Wolfirion Guilds. This is a game that we had the chance to make a preview when it was crowdfunded uh, way back, but now it's uh, delivered and this is a final production copy from Tabula Games, a company and a publisher that will really love and enjoy everything they put out. It's full of uh, uh, interesting options, decisions and an extremely uh, beautiful thematic world. And this is a world of uh, uh, Wolfirion Guilds. Uh, it's no exception there. The game falls under the category of card games, fantasy games with main mechanisms of deck building and uh, open drafting. Uh, it integrates with uh, Wolfirion and this is uh, extremely satisfying uh, that it's uh, integrating with uh, Wolfirion, which is a game we love. And uh, this is uh, played from one to two players. It's exceptionally well as a solo for one player as well. It takes around 20 to 40 minutes to play, ages 14 and up, and a weight is 2.7 out of 5. The designer is uh, Alessandro uh, Verazzi and the publisher is Tabula Games. But what about the theme? After the fall of Rorius' house, the king of Mythia, in order to contain the power of Volaris' house, created a system of five guilds and assigned a specific role to each of them. Now, the guilds are fighting for the top step of the political scene. Set in the wonderful world of Mythia, Wolfirion guilds events take place immediately after the previous title Wolfirion and about 60 years before the events of Mythia. The game uh, retains all the features and the mechanisms from the, its uh, predecessor, uh, indeed as a competitive and fast-paced deck-building card game for two players, and at the same time, however, it adds more depth to the gameplay, thanks to the 110 new cards, including uh, new card types, new abilities and new mechanics. In addition, the game has a, a new solo mode, and uh, you can fight against Mystia World epic creatures, each of which has its own features and rules. And Wolfirion Guild, Wolfirion Guilds can be played as a standalone game or combined with a classic Wolfirion that amplifies the alternatives for players. So, let's dive into the unboxing. In this video, we're just going to focus on the components of the game. Uh, this is a fantastic box, which uh, also has, uh, has space for the playmats. This is uh, how the back of... Uh, uh, this nice big box, magnetic box looks like. It has uh, two playmats, as you can see. And has a ton of cards. So let's dive into the game so that we can see uh, what we find. So first of all, this is the magnetic box. And as you can see, it unfolds very nicely to uh, keep both uh, the extra decks, have space for more things to come, and also the uh, the main box of the game, the core box. But before doing so, I'd like to show you this drawer, which has space for the two uh, mats. So, these are the two mats of the game. They have this wonderful uh, art from the universe of uh, uh, Mystia, which we really, really love. So, and also they fit into this bottom compartment, which is excellent for keeping the mats in the same box. Let me show you the second one, and then we'll dive into the rest of the components. So, they're both very, very beautiful, and they have the wonderful art of Mystia, as you can see. So. Great material, neoprene mat, good quality, and this is the first one, and this is the second one. Yeah. So, now that being said, let's dive into the box itself. We have uh, the decks which includes expansions, so we'll see those in a sec. There are also some uh, uh, packs here, the Mystia Champions pack and the Wonders pack. We'll see them in a sec. Uh, but the main star of this game is this little box, because you can even buy it as this little box, which is uh, all you need to play the game. This is all the expansion, so you expand the game. So first of all, we have these tiles which are extremely gorgeous looking, fantastic art from the universe of Mystia. Uh, I'm particularly fond of uh, the unique art they have and everything they do in this universe. It really uh, shines through this world that they have created. 
Yeah. Then we have these decks. And I'm going to... And this is the bottom of the box, which is also illustrated. This is beautiful, just to, to put it on your shelf. And look at this. This hand of the cover. This is amazing. Okay, so let's put everything to the side for the moment. Uh, these are very handy to keep the tech boxes in place. Uh, but you can also fit in uh, components from the original Wolfurion. Yeah. So let's dive into this box. First of all, we have uh, the English rulebook. Uh, this is uh, a lengthy rulebook, but it has a lot of content. It has a, a solo mode challenge against other masters and all the details. So everything explained. These are the contents with all the cards, the game overview, the game setup, illustration of the play area, the cards and the breakdown of the cards and the anatomy of the cards, the different banners, the wonder cards, the city cards, the vault cards, examples, also explanation about the expansion cards, and then this is how to play the game. So this is the main phase, where you play cards from your hand. Everything is explained in a nice detail. And here's the solo challenge mode against masters. I really had a blast playing this game. I can't wait to dive into the final production game and all the extra material that it released with the expansions and the, the extended solo mode. Really, really cool. Then we have some extra rules. I believe these are linked with the extra modes. Yes, you have one versus one. Team, two versus two. And there is illustration about the setup, how you, you set it up and how you play the team mode as well. Okay. And nice examples. Cool. Nice. Then, I thank you message for the support. Great. Uh, we have this beautiful dragon that we have it also in uh, Volfirion Guild. In Volfirion, the, uh, the original one, this is a Volfirion token. And you can use also the, the fantastic mini that there is there if you uh, also have Mystia and the, and the, and the rest of the tabular games. And again, this comes with foam to keep the decks in place. I believe that you can fit also, yeah, sleeved cards in there. That's perfect. So let's see the cards first of all. So let's start with. I'm looking for my my cutter, which is somewhere here, I suppose. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so let's dive. Ah, uh, okay, I think these are from the extended play, yeah, and it has monster's turn and player's turn, reminders, cool, and these are also for the player turn and for the monster turn. Yeah, cool. Then the main decks. Let's uh, see the art. This is one of the highlights of the game among the gameplay and the fast uh, strategic uh, gameplay that it offers. So, uh, Guild Vault. And then we have the cities. I believe they're called cities. Let, let me remember because it's it's a long time since I previewed this game. Yes, these are city cards. These are the different cities that come into the core box. Uh, look at this gorgeous art. And there are placeholders for the cards here, if you remember. Uh, I've done a very extensive uh, uh, how to play a review video on the uh, preview video, so you can see how the game plays. 
This is Volfirion's Lair. Volfirion's Lookout. Yeah. And then we start with the cards of the game. We have the Prospector. Fantastic art, very unique. This is one of the things that makes the game uh, stand out. It's uh, one of a kind. Never seen. Uh, when you see a card or an art piece from this game, you really identify it immediately as belonging to this universe. That's what I'm trying to say. The Diviner, the Captain, Operative. Officer, Elite, Quam Market, Affiliate Bank, Athenaeum, Assassin's Guild, Secrets Archive, Quadom, Market Analysis, Personal Hook, Quam Cyclopedia, the universe is fantastic, Intelligence Net and Quam Mine. So these are the cards, the, one of the decks. So let's see the second portion, with, uh, which has the rest of the cards. Again, I'm still in the core. So let's see what else we have here. We have the remaining of the cards. We have uh, Predominance, Family Intrigue, Family Intrigue, Diplomat, Safe and Sound, Plan Execution, Levy Program, fantastic art, look at that, this is amazing. This is in one of the playmats, I believe, yeah, this is the, one, uh, the art on the playmat, one of the two playmats. Double Game, Smaller Baronage, Golem Army, Massive Attack, New Agreement, Optimization, The Great Deal, Dragon Ritual, Infiltrator, Thief. Scout, Executioner, Quam Disruptor, Quam, Quam Voyant, Quam Lens, Crystal Seed, Divining Pool, Quam Lurker, Glowing Fluid, Quam Dust, Pitchel Vial, two pieces of each uh, card, Quam Visor, Curved, Carved Knife, and these are turn structures. In two languages, yeah, great. So uh, there's that. Then let's see quickly the packs. We have the uh, Omen expansion. I really uh, don't remember what the expansions add, so let's just quickly go through the uh, boxes so that we can see the cards together. Uh, this is uh, the rules, the contents. You have building cards, command cards, omen cards, and wonder cards, and troop cards. So, these are the rules. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And these are the cards. So, I'm going to focus only on the, uh, the art and the anatomy of the cards because I don't remember. And most of them, uh, actually, they were not at the previous stage when I previewed the game. But uh, I can't wait to try all these things because all these components and all this content because they, I'm sure they add a ton. Uh, so look at the art. At least let's focus on the art here. But uh, uh, knowing tabular games, I know they add the uh, content. They're not just more of a kind. They add also new mechanics and new rules. So uh, I'm sure they're going to be perfect fit for the game. I only have previewed the core game, loved it, so more is always good. Okay, so there you go. This is the uh, deploy expansion. Again, I like the fact that they come in their own tack boxes and, uh, and the, you can also fit sleeved cards in there as you can see. Let's see the rules quickly. The new effects from what I can see here. And you have again building cards, command cards, wonder cards, and troop cards. Employ cards. This is a new component. Deploy cards, which add mechanics to the game. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's see the cards again here.
Insubordination, plot twist. Defenders, tenacity, quam opportunity. Look at the art. I really like the art in the expansions. Convert trades, blown cover, less is more. Rivality, knowledge reserve, mirror effect, backup plans, never give up, good chance, shadow weaver. Circus, leak, I believe these are buildings, plant strike, slipper skull, mind gathering, mystifier, skimmer, names, codex, and brazier maze. Arbiter expansion. There's so much content in the game. Now you add the expansions, it's, it's amazing. Really looking forward to it. These are the rules. We have the Arbiter cards, building cards, troop cards, command cards, and agent cards. Okay. Uh, so I don't know if you can combine all of the card, all of the expansions. I'm going to check it out. I'm sure you can, you would. But I'm going to try to add one at a time to make sure I absorb everything from the game. Oh, look at that. This is nice art also. This is fascinating. I believe that. I dare to say I like the art a lot, but I do like the art of the expansions even more. They've done tremendous work with the art here. Making it even better. Don't get me wrong, I still like, like the art from the, the core game, but I believe the art from the expansions is uh, even better. Cool. Yeah. So, last deck and last expansion, Shattered Times. Hmm. No rules here? Okay. At least no leaflet. So these are the extra cards. We have maps drawing, lands training, study, shattered times, new recruit, shock pro troop, observatory, trading camp, shattered orb, and operator. These are the extra cards from that. And the last thing I want to show you is these packs, which I think I'm going to actually just leave them for later, or maybe I should just yeah, it's, because I don't have a scissors, so that's my, my issue, but I think I can carefully cut it like that if I don't cut myself in the process. Yeah, okay, fair enough. I managed to, to, to get them out. Nice and easy. So, Crystal Gleam, Sep Shifter, Sharp Needle, Hypnotic Spore, Orbs, Globe, and Golden Dust. Yeah. So this is the Wonders pack. And these are the Champions pack. So let's see those as well. Again, wish me luck. Don't cut myself. Yeah. Managed to, <laughs> to avoid cutting myself. And we have the Champions pack with these extra Champions. Okay. So there you have it. These are all the components of Volfirion Guilds. A uh, great game. Very happy to have it on my desk and very much looking forward to uh, get again, again into the game.